signing up for. What if your raise wasn't just approved by your boss? The Now's Nicole Vowell takes us to a company doing things a little differently. So we all sit at a different desk every day, all kinds of game machines, a napping couch. Inside this old church in St. Petersburg, Florida, is Square Mouth Travel Insurance Company. As far as the insurance industry, I would assume that this is not the norm at all. <laughs> I'd say so. They even have a bar, offer unlimited paid vacations, and a $200 cash bonus every year on your birthday. We just want a really relaxed environment where you're happy, you enjoy coming to work. Megan Moncrief works in marketing. She's been here five years and says the most unique thing about this company is how they ask for a raise. Our core value is you think it's time for a raise, prove it. So we'll sit down kind of talk through it. I'll give my presentation. Everyone has an opportunity to ask any questions they have, and then I leave and, and they vote. Outside of merit-based and cost of living raises, the way to ask for more money here is ask everyone and leave it to the majority to decide. But what's really cool about it is we require everyone to give um, not only a vote, but a reason to support their vote. They call it a peer raise request, and any of the 40 employees here can ask for one at any time. You think it's time, you think that you've, you've proven yourself, literally the next day you can ask for a raise. And if someone votes no, Moncrief says there's no hard feelings, just harder work to get a yes. It's because it's a tough deal. You know, you've got to go and, and stand in front of your peers and, and tell them why you want to raise. CEO Chris Harvey says since the company started in 2003, the goal was to be different. We want everybody to to pull together, everybody to be a team, and, and it's pretty important at that stage that everybody knows how much uh, everybody earns. According to a study this year by Payscale, two-thirds of Americans have never asked for a raise. Harvey says here, that's not a problem. People can can be involved and, and push them forward and, um, and make them go and get one. Here, the happiness of employees is what Harvey says makes the difference. I think by focusing on, on quality and making sure everybody's happy here, we, uh, we just tend to grow. That happiness, he says, only pushes employees to work harder and prove themselves to earn what they think they're worth. You're in control of your own destiny. For the now, I'm Nicole Vowell reporting.